Hey guys, short disclaimer before we get started, you will need an Amazon Web Services account to do this, so follow the link in my description and make one if you do not already have one. And with that said, you can go right to the dashboard of your AWS console and click EC2 under the Compute section. From there you can click Instances, and then Launch Instances. And now, you can scroll down until you see Microsoft Windows Server 2016 base and select that. So here you can see there is a free version. However, if you want a little more processing power, I suggest you select one of the paid versions uh, as I will do here. Uh, it's not that much extra and you can check out the cost in my description. There's a link for it. And you can go ahead and press review and launch. And then launch right after. From here you can select create a new key pair and enter whatever name you want. Here I did Among Us. And then go ahead and click download key pair. And then launch instances. Make sure to keep your key pair file safe as you will need it later on. And your instance should now start installing. If you go and check your running instances, um, right click it and try to connect. You will see a message saying that your password will take four minutes to generate. So spend this time going on your app store and downloading Microsoft Remote Desktop because you will need this for it to work. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and open it and allow whatever access it needs. By now your instance should be ready back on your AWS. So click back to your running instances and it should be running with two out of two checks. Go ahead and right click to connect select RDP client and download the remote desktop file as well as clicking get password. So here you browse and you select the key pair file that you downloaded a couple minutes ago which you should find in your downloads folder. You can then go ahead and decrypt password and then copy it. Go ahead and open the remote desktop file that you downloaded which should automatically open in your Microsoft Remote Desktop. And paste the password that you've just copied on your clipboard. It should open up a Windows section on your computer. And all you have to do is wait for it to set up. After it's done setting up, go to Service Manager. This is very important. Or Server Manager. And configure this local server. And then click on the Enhanced Security Configuration. From there, turn both administrators and users off. Go ahead, press OK, cancel out of there, and then you can in open up Internet Explorer. And this part is very important. Press do not use recommended setting settings and uncheck this box. Press OK. Go ahead and install Steam, which is the engine we're going to use to play this game. And on your own time, you can install Among Us from the store on Steam and uh, click play once you're done. And there you have it, how to run Among Us on your MacBook.